Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, we couldn't have done it without our uh, sponsors. Uh, many of them have been with us many, many years, uh, uh, and particularly the TWRA with uh, Dave Gabbard here, and we have spent most of our uh, open mic Saturdays uh, talking TWRA, and we appreciate uh, all the oh, folks. I want to get my money's worth. Yeah, you are getting your money's <laughs> worth. We give you as best we can, and so uh, we're going to talk a little TWRA right now because there's uh, we're on the – we're another holiday. This is a big holiday. Yeah. Uh, for, Real for, big holiday. For boaters or people out and about, whatever it might be. A lot of fireworks, we said, going on. And, of course, when we talk about uh, uh, enforcement and stuff, me and Dave were talking a little bit about deer hunting over the years and how, you know, how many we've killed now, what we used to do back then. One of our main things is we, we don't want to have a statistic for boating. We want a zero. We want a zero, but uh, it happens. And so we've got with us right now a good friend, uh, Major, Major. Brian, Brian Thompson from the TWRA Law Enforcement out of the Region 1. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, gentlemen. How are y'all? Okay, you're a regular now, Brian. You've now made the bankroll. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, so you're on the breakfast list. That We'll take you I out do. sometime. But uh, th- this is for you guys, and I don't know how many law enforcement folks do we have in region one uh we got about 60 commission folks in region one that S- S- count full-time commissioned officers guys that, that like the wma managers as well as uh, we have some part-time boating officers does that compare to the rest of the state is our numbers similar or do we yeah, yeah we're we'll probably now some of the states and some of the cross states that may have a little bit more water they may have some more part-time boating officers yeah uh than we do Plus, there's a lot more water further east to go, a lot more people. So, but uh, we we have a bunch, and all our guys and girls, they all work together. Even the guys that don't have water and the WMA guys, everybody will be out this weekend through uh, Tuesday. Yeah, it's this every week. Yeah, you know? this is really a, a long weekend for uh, for the holiday. Right. Five day week, weekend for some folks. If you think about it, now some people will have to leave the water tomorrow and go work on Monday and be back out on on Tuesday if they can, but. Uh, you know, people boat year round. Uh, summertime gets you. Our guys work hard. Even though yeah. this, this is Operation Dry Water this week. We yes. We've been from the, from yesterday through through Sunday and kind of extended through the uh, July Fourth as well. But uh, uh, it's a national campaign. Uh, agencies all across the country are getting out, uh, bringing awareness to, to the the hazards and the dangers of boating while under the influence. Which you know, Larry, I was thinking about that a little while ago. We all know the dangers, and we know the hazards, and we know we're not supposed to do it. Yeah. But huh. it's everybody else's problem. It's not mine, you know, type yeah. thing. Yeah. And, uh, you uh, know, each year, yeah. how accidents, alcohol is involved. Yeah. yeah. What's two beers? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that, that becomes beers, yeah. four on the water just about because of the yeah, uh, heat exactly and things along the So you can just about double it. That's what I've heard. Yeah. And people will say, "Well, I, I'm under control." No, no, you're 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 not under control. And there, I don't know how many boats will be on the water this over this next uh, five days that we have right now. But this is 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 this is this the weekend for 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 boating? You guys talk about? It, well, you know, I mean, it'll be busy. Yes. Uh, now, also, you think about it with the fourth being on Tuesday, it may even slow down for Tuesday because some people, most people will have to go work on Monday Monday and Wednesday. Yeah. So they may not be out. And then, with, you know, with, with Fourth July, though, you throw the fireworks, you know, tonight in Grand Harbor down at the, uh, in Mississippi. Yeah. Uh, right there at Pickwick, they'll be having a big fireworks show. So that'll bring a lot of people out. And our, our officers, Mississippi officers, Alabama, uh, uh, water patrol as well as Alabama game wardens will all be working together down there today and, and throughout the weekend huh. uh, with, on uh, uh, boating enforcement, boating under the influence enforcement. So uh, uh, all four agencies will be together today and, and through the weekend, uh, trying to make the waters more safe down there because you know we have three states come together: uh, Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama all come together down there at Pickwick. Yeah. So. 
And I guess the same, well, when you think about it, up at Kentucky Lake. I Kentucky mean, you know, Lake. You've got, you, uh, got Kentucky, uh, Kentucky and Tennessee, and that's a big body of water. And uh, w- when it, got, it comes down to it, uh, so what is your number one concern? And we're talking to Brian Thompson, Major Brian Thompson, TWRA Region 1 Law Enforcement Supervisor. Uh, you talked about Operation Dry Water. So as you go into this right now, what what is the most uh, – you know, I don't like to say citations or whatever it might be. What what concerns of somebody like you when you head into a weekend like this? Well, my main concern is all my guys get home safe. Mm-hmm. That's my main concern. Then the next, then the next concern is the public gets home safe. Uh, and we have people that, that get on the water and they do stupid stuff, whether it's alcohol related or not. You know. Yeah. Uh, but the main thing is everybody gets out there has an enjoyable weekend, a enjoyable time. And they all get home safely, you know. Uh, we we have situations where people do stuff and that they, they just don't think about. It. You know, it's like letting the, the the child or person ride on the front of the pontoon boat. You know, feet dangling <laughs> off or whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, sitting above the the, the the gunnel, you know, sitting you know where anything can happen, you can fall overboard. Which, as I've said many times, the number one death on Tennessee waters, cause of death on Tennessee waters, is falling overboard. Uh. And not they having a, board, they don't have a life jacket on. Yeah, and next thing you know, they drown. I so, saw, but, I saw uh, yeah, I saw something on the web. Uh, uh, yeah, you see everything, but about an accident over in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where this guy just the, the this person just completely destroyed a boat dock. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I, I don't know if you saw those photographs, and uh, I'm sure you did. And amazingly, he he didn't get killed or anything. But I'll tell you what. Uh, speed uh, in these boats today, you know. Uh, well, that uh, one was speed, alcohol, and I, I you know, I guess all of them probably go in there. Yeah. And plus, it was at night. I mean, it was like two or three o'clock in the morning, is my understanding. My anyway, so yeah. it was at night. It was speed and alcohol and in, in, involved. It destroyed in that. So, it. Yeah. Well, that's, and that's they are. They're lucky nobody. That's the problem that's people good. have with personal watercraft. Okay. You know, they don't understand, but to maneuver that watercraft, you've got to have water running through that jet propulsion system. Mm -hmm. So you'd be surprised the number of people, you know, that will come, you know, full speed into the bank and think they're going to get up there and they cut it and go to turn it, you know, Uh like kind of slide in. Yeah. It don't work that way. It doesn't work that way, does (laughs) it? It doesn't work that way. A lot of times they run into each other like that as well. Well, you know, and it's also just we need to keep in mind, just like driving, it's not the it's not just the inexperienced operator out there that's having wrecks or doing stupid stuff. It is people that's been on the water their whole lives. Yeah, yeah, uh, and, and and they just get out there, and it's going to happen to to everybody else, but not me. They feel comfortable. Yes, that's exactly right. It's actually too comfortable. Yeah, and yeah. And, and I know uh, this this weekend pop-up thunderstorms and things like that. They need to keep an eye on the weather. I have oh, yes, been I have been on the water many times when all of a sudden, you know, this was before we had all the advantages we have today right. of tracking thunderstorms and things. If you're on Sardis or someplace like that, uh, or if you're on real foot, I don't care how deep it is, real foot is dangerous sure when, it is. When, when, when it comes out of there. So be awareness. We're, we're talking about people that is – as Brian was saying, that just had both forever. And then, here we go, Brian, and I've thought about this before, somebody bought a new boat Monday. Right. <laughs> yeah. And they're out there, you know. Yeah. This is a... Uh... And it's a new boat. It may not be a new boat. maybe a new boat to them. Yes. They right. always wanted a boat, but they never had, you know, could afford it. Yeah. And they finally find some money. You know, they buy them a boat, they're proud of it, but they don't know much about it, you know. And I think I've told that before. We was working... It was one of the holiday weekends at Pickwick, and these people come out, and it was actually a 1972 inboard motor, and these people was their first boat, and they was proud of it and all that kind of stuff, you know. And we were talking to them, checking with us, coming out there at the marina at Pickwick, and, and uh, they asked, they had all their stuff, and they asked, they said, hey, question for us, what's this, uh, what's this blower button <laughs> for? And, and we quickly explained, that's to keep from blowing you out of the water. That's you know, right. Fuel up, you yeah. know. Yeah, and that, that's a small, but very, very important thing about that boat that they should have known and knew, needed to know. You know. Yeah. So well, but, but, uh, and that happens. And people, and something else, people, we're getting to that age bracket now 
for voter education. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know that. Okay, let's well, eighty-five, right, Brian? Eighty-nine, ninth of January. After eighty-nine, January. eighty-nine, okay. eighty-nine. Okay. okay, so eleven. That's till two thousand. Okay, we got two thousand seventeen. So that's twenty. Those people twenty-eight years old and younger. Yeah. So you know you get into that age bracket where okay. You know, young professional, I'm gonna buy a boat. You know, and they buy that. They're 27 years old. They, think they don't. I don't know. They don't understand. That Before you, they yeah. can get it out there, they're gonna to have to have boater ed. Well, yeah, that's just like our hunter age. You now yeah. we're at 69, so we got people what 40 something years old. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, I didn't I think oh. about that. And before we let you go, uh, there's also another thing. Let's think etiquette at the boat ramp too. I have seen some of the most. Uh, <laughs> Unbelievable, and now everything goes viral. You know, uh, it, yes. yeah, with with eight pe- eight boats trying to back into a three space. You know, yeah. and, or, or one other day we was at Pickwick doing a thing, and, and let everybody know the bull shark thing is fake at Pickwick. But anyway, we I was going to talk, talk, talk about that. About yeah. dry okay, water, and this guy asked us if it was about the bull shark, and then the next person pull in and takes up both spaces on the on the boat ramp over there. You know, so yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, boat ramp has you know. At least we haven't had any viral videos about you know road rage to be boat ramp rage. Oh no, those we don't. Uh-huh. No, I've seen it. Uh, uh, so the the bull shark is officially uh, dead out of the water, right? I uh, mean, that's a good way to look at it. Dead out. Know. How about it was never in the water? Okay, it was, never, so, it was never. It was never. I've seen a gentleman one time pull up to a boat ramp, and he, he his boat. He didn't think his car could back it, pull it back up. So yeah. he gets to the top of the ramp. And he's unhooking his trailer. He's going to try to manhandle it down there. Down to the, the boat. <laughs> I'm going, no, you know. <laughs> oh, was anybody in the boat while he was no, putting uh-uh. it? <laughs> I was wondering. Hey, thanks, Brian. All right, buddy. Hey, yep. Y'all have, have a, a great day. Have a Be good safe. one. Be safe. All right, buddy. All right, Brian Thompson. All right, we got to take a break, right, Stuart? All right, there he goes. Thumbs up. When you get a thumbs down, that's when you really worry yeah. here. All right, let's take a break. We didn't give away that subscription to the Mid-South Hunting Fishing News because that was so interesting, but we'll try to do that. And we're going to come back and just uh, talk a little more TWRA on Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 7A. the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee. 